All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, you're watching Morning Live here on DSTV Channel 404. So, they basically have uh, been dubbed South Africa's cheekiest and most audacious award ceremony. The Feather Awards is a celebration of public figures in the entertainment, sports, and business fields uh, that the gay community find inspiring, amusing, or just plain scandalous. So this year's nominees were announced in Johannesburg yesterday, and joining us uh, are uh, Tami Kotlolo, who is the founder of the Feather Awards, and TV and radio personality Manit Lamini. It's so nice to have both of you. Welcome <laughs> to Morning Live. Yeah, thank you. So here we are again. I feel like every time I, I know that a year has gone by when Tami comes into the studio <laughs> yeah. to talk about the Feather Awards. So, so here we are. Five years. I know. Is this the fifth year? This is the fifth year. Did we're you? half a decade. Did you ever Believe think? Believe it or not. Did honey. you ever think you'd get here? Five years down the line. Um, yeah. You did? I did. You saw long I kind of had that plan. Awards. I was like, mm, I'm not going to start something and finish it halfway. I'm starting it now and yeah. it's going to continue forever and ever and live even beyond me retiring from this whole exercise. Yeah. Oh, that's I awesome. Did. And is it yeah. just growing? Is it getting bigger and bigger it's as getting, the years go I mean, it's, this year's probably going to be the biggest show we've ever had. Wow. I mean, now we've got more people on board that allow us to do a lot of other creative stuff. Uh, we're moving into a, a bigger venue. Uh, there's much more to do uh, productive production-wise as, as, as for the show. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so Minnie, you have been nominated. Which categories are you nominated in? I'm nominated for Best Styled Female. <laughs> nice. And I'm nominated in the Cutest Couple, Tommy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I can understand the cutest couple thing. Yeah. I mean, it's Tumula and Kune. Let's not kid. Yeah. That is cute. He's not bad. Yeah. Not he bad. is. I'm telling you he's cute. And, and, and all the men are saying, yeah, but look at Minnie. So, I mean, together, you are it. We try to make it right, but we're nominated against married people. It's it doesn't matter. matter. No, it doesn't you matter. know what? Let me tell you something. <laughs> Unmarried couples are so much cuter than married couples. We're cool, you know, when you get married, the cuteness kind of disappears. Yeah, look at you saying Jay Z. Yeah, it disappears. <laughs> it disappears. <laughs> <laughs> so that's so nice. I mean, are you happy to be nominated? Have you been nominated before? I actually won last year Best oh, Style. Okay, so so this is I'm like back hoping to defend my, my title. title. For the Best uh, Style Award. Best Style Award. Okay. And then the cutest couple just happened this year. So that's a first. All right, and you're taking the styling awards very seriously mm. because look at the feathers on mm. the head. See, I try just for Tommy, but he doesn't seem too impressed. He does not impressed. I, I, think she does uh, it for I noticed that. <laughs> she does it for herself. <laughs> no, I think people, I, this is why I would recognize it. She did it so that I can pick it up, and everybody else that follows what she does could pick it up and say, Yeah, I think that girl that works. needs to be a nominee again. <laughs> so she's actually campaigning for next year's nomination again. 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 Yeah. Uh, but that's so nice, though. What does it's, it mean for you? I mean, is it a I big deal it. to be nominated? It's so I mean, the Feathers, first of all, was, was the first award I ever received yeah. since I've gotten into the industry. So that was really cool. I got a really nice nod from the gay community. So I thought that was really awesome. Yeah. Um, but what I love about the award so much is that they're so much fun. I'm so glad to see them on TV now. I mean, they were broadcast last year for the first time, and this year it's happening again. Oh, yeah. So that was the best part about it because you know that you couldn't wait to go to the feathers i mean it was always so much fun yeah. you know you know you're going to get all the scandals um on the night people are not afraid to say what they think and what mm. they think they know so it's very juicy it's very fun and very scandalous if you want a great fun award show the feathers are it that's the one that's the one i didn't want. say it no <laughs> i didn't say I think it. you should hire her never mind nominate her i think hire I her say. as your pr <laughs> manager so so it is being broadcast again yeah. this year where is it being broadcast it's on acbc one isn't that awesome it is phenomenal. That's fantastic. Yeah, I'm it so is glad phenomenal. I mean, I, I, I mean, where else would it go? I no. expected them to take it. Wh which other awards ceremony do you find? Actors, exactly. um, pe television, sports, yeah. music people in one room. Yeah. Really? Exactly. It is the place where gossip starts. Is it the Feather Awards? I don't know about gossip. But <laughs> I know. Yeah. But why is it important for the gay community to have an award? I mean, we're talking just the gay community you celebrating know, everybody. Why? I, I always say that... Sexual minorities exist within the entertainment industry a yeah. lot. You know, you find them making a lot of decisions there. And um, they're mostly empowered by people like Mini, who, you know, who have stylists, fashion designers, uh, makeup artists, <coughs> uh, publicists, managers who are probably of a sexual minority. And, and it's nice to give them a pat on the back because they keep, you know, empowering these young individuals who, who do great things. I've said to you last year that we run this uh, industry. Yeah. I mean, you can think of gay people all over the world. I mean, you're wearing a shirt and a suit now chosen for you by a gay person. Do you think so? I know so. <laughs> I chose it. No, no, no. <laughs> you chose it at the store. Oh, oh but you're saying that the they buyer of it, it and, and the person who made it 
all the stitching is probably yeah. probably yeah. done by a gay person. All right, tell that's 99%. Well, there you go. Okay, go. and hence an award ceremony <laughs> exactly. for that. So, um, tell me, there are a couple of new categories this yeah. year: mm. media award. Of, of the, the year uh, of the year why what okay talk to me about um, this you know the, the thing about feathers is that it's, it's always fun as Mimi said it's always fun um and and like i said i had planned for it to go on for this long and in our fifth year we'd obviously start doing the more important stuff and and awarding people um within the media space who who've got a role in informing society on sexual issue sexuality issues so we've observed a couple of productions, a couple of journalists, bloggers, people who continue to write and report accurately on issues of LGBTI. And hence we have this year, the first, um, our first nominees after nine, um, who deal with LGBTI issues on, on television, mm. um, intersections and a, and a web, a web page called Mambo Online. So it's mainly just to say, we're watching, we're monitoring and we see what you guys what are you doing. What you guys are doing, yeah. it's not going unnoticed. Yeah. And some other interesting categories, drama queen, oh, role yeah. model of the year. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who's the drama queen of the year? <gasps> or, or the nominees for the drama queen? That's very controversial. Um, is it? Very, very controversial. Uh, okay, um, the Guptas won. <laughs> okay. Are nominated as drama queen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mandela Mandela. Um, oh, another nominee, Mandela Mandela. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, I'd rather not say the last one. Oh, okay. I won't press you then. Well, <laughs> I, I, won't, I won't go there then. All right, so uh, these are just some of the categories. Uh, role model of the year? Yeah. Who's that? Role model of the year is a guy called Tulani Madondo. Terry Petto and Zoleka Mandela. Oh, nice. Yeah. So two yeah. Mandelas not related. <laughs> Imagine. In very different categories. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, all over the like. place. <laughs> okay, but listen, I'm rooting for you. Thank you Many so good much, luck. Leah. Thank Especially in the cutest couples. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe just. Maybe just hey? <laughs> You've got the style one. It needs a pun. I need another one. Nah, I, I will get you that one. That goes without saying. Yeah. Many thank good you. luck. Thanks for thank coming. So and guys, thank you for the fun. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope it goes well. The yeah. date? 14th of November. 14th of November. Yes. And nominate. How do you not? How do you vote? What do you do? Uh, we don't. We don't. We have. We have one. Do you vote, or is, it, is there no, a panel we, of judges? This, only this year we have. Uh, we have. We, it's a panel of judges, but only this year we've introduced, you know, a voting thing for the drama queen category because it's always nice, you know, I topical. Think. So uh, people can check us out on uh, Twitter handle at Feathers SA. Mm -hmm. uh, follow us on Facebook, yeah. The Feather Awards, yeah. and uh, go onto our website www.thefeather.co.za. They can get all the information on how to vote. All right, thefeather.co.za. Uh, tell me, thank you. Oh, thank there you goes my microphone again. It's the battery pack. It keeps falling <laughs> off. Yeah. Now. Anyway, every time I end an interview, it falls off. I know that that's when it ends. Every time you end a good interview. Yeah, it ends. <laughs> <coughs> tell me, thank you, many yeah. thank you. Thank you so.